What's up ladies and gentlemen? So today we're going to be doing Mars in the sign of Leo and what happens when Mars is in the sign of Leo in your horoscope? Well, first of all, what is the sign of Leo? Leo represents realness, the royal throne, okay? Leo represents dram uh, um, dramatic art. It's, it's a very dramatic sign. Performing arts, being the center of center of attention, being in the center of attention in the political arena, in the arts arena, in the academic arena, you know, because it's originally is the part of the fifth house, Leo. So it represents fifth house things, creativity. Okay. So when you put Mars here, Mars, who's a soldier, who is fiery, who is about to, who's like the charging army, who is your willpower, your strength, your fight to believe in what you believe. So here, Mars becomes really dramatic. He becomes fiery, regal. He strives. Now Mars' energy and Mars' willpower goes towards striving for regal throne. Goes towards finding that regal uh, uh, throne so he can stand up on them and say, yes, I made it. So what this represents is that somebody who might be absolutely inclined towards dramatic arts, like acting, performing arts, Broadway, like stage play, they're very creative. Their energy, Mars is your energy, okay? So Mars energy then goes into the creative side of things. Mars becomes, well, Mars energy says, okay, I want to be the center of attention and I need to get all the, uh, you know, attention towards me and I need to become regal in something, what I do. So Mars here has become really energized. Why? And this is also just as a good of a placement while Mars is in Capricorn, like, you know, he's exalted in Capricorn. Well, this is a sign of his best friend's son, who's the king, who's the biggest planet. And this is a fiery sign. Okay. This is kind of like the Aries fire sign. However, Aries is more of a negative sign where Mars is becoming a killer. He becoming, he's becoming a hunter, the Marine. But here in the sign of Leo, he's becoming more of a dramatic artist. He is becoming more of a, uh, that political leader. Mars' fiery nature is now about finding a light for his work. So that's what Mars does in this sign of uh, Leo. He becomes, his energy becomes very sexualized. Why? Because fifth house also represents romance. And fifth house was originally controlled by the sign of Leo, which also represents romance. So in romantic uh, um, avenues and in relationships, he becomes very sexual, very dynamic. Okay, this is a very dynamic Mars. He finds energy into the, the glamour things of the glamorous part of life, the lucrative part of life, you know, and if especially like, you know, if it's controlling your 10th house, then it, it can show like you might be tremendously interested in performing arts or in political arena or some somewhere where your talents can shine. Now, again, like I discussed in Michael Jordan's horoscope, where I told you a debilitated Mars caused certain events in his life. But why did it cause is because the depositor of Mars was placed in a certain place in a certain sign. So just like that here also, and since Moon and Sun are very important planets, sign of Cancer and Leo become that, ver that very important point in people's life when they have planets in these two signs. So here, again, you have to check for if Sun is debilitated or not, or if Sun is exalted or not, who Sun is sitting with, because Sun becomes a depositor of Leo. Sun is the owner of Leo, okay? He's a landlord. So when Mars is here, Mars has to obey by the, sun, uh, the rules of uh, Sun. So if Sun is debilitated, that means Mars will feel more, uh, uh, Mars's self-esteem will feel more damaged. Mars's energy will feel more damaged. Mars will try to become that dramatic actor, but his energy will not take him all the way. He will stop at a certain point. He's like, well, I don't want that much attention. Eh, let me just back off. Or he will shy away from a huge crowd. He'll be like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? If, and if sun is exalted, Mars will go full head, full head on. And he'll be like, hey, what's going on? This is me. Let me perform in front of you guys. So it's always important to check the depositor of your planet, especially sun and moon, because these are the two most important planets in astrology, especially Vedic astrology. So that's what Mars is in the sign of Leo, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So this was my analysis of Mars and Leo. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed, check out the link below. Check out my book there, Astrology to the Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with Mars in Virgo. Bye-bye. What? 
You actually made it this far into the video? All the way to the end? Man, you must be crazy! Well, since you're already crazy enough to go this far, then might as well join the insanity by clicking that little button above where it says subscribe here, or you can subscribe below by that little button that you see below the video. And like I told you, if you want to know where your planets are placed, where your conjunctions are, what aspects you're receiving, what planetary time period you're running through, check out this corner link below, okay? Read the directions there, because when you get the book, my Astrology at the Speed of Light book, and you follow the directions by sending me the email, I send you the link to look at your own chart so you can study everything about you. And if you want to re read some more articles on astrology and you know, every little details that I've written on my website, check out this corner link below. And this will take you to my website and to my article page where I've written tons of stuff, okay? Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with some more insane video. Bye-bye.